Hey YouTube, it's Sean. I was out here playing with the little lathe, doing a little housekeeping, cleaning it up a little bit. But uh, I bought me a center for this big old bore. It's an MT5. It's supposed to be 38 millimeter bore in that. So let's see how this thing fits. This one didn't come with a uh, with a dead center. This one didn't come with a dead center. As um, I don't think any of them do. They come with a chuck. And that's it. Uh, any of this model. Um, I don't even think the WM. This is an MX. I don't think any of them come with a with a it comes with one for the tail but not for the for the headstock anywho let's see if she goes I cleaned all this out I cleaned this up with and got all the Chinese oil off of it so let's see if she fits post to fit Interesting. Looks like it don't. Interesting. I don't have to discover why, but it's supposed to be an MT5. Oh, I see. There's a little ledge there. Hmm. I'm not sure why they put that there. Interesting. I'm gonna have to do a little more digging. See what that's about, but it's like a dead stop right there. Will not go any further. So, interesting. We may end up having to go in there and hmm. How far does it go? In? Goes in that far. Then it stops. Looks like it needs to go in. Let's see, it'd be, it's supposed to stop right up in there. You can see where it was in the machine before, where it was when it was made. So. Yeah, right there, I can see where it hits. And it needs to go that much further. So, I mean, we can go in there and then clear that, or that. I think it's just a flaw, unfortunately. Let's see what we got there. It's like inch and an eight on the money so we need to go in an inch and an eighth further from where that ledge is I don't know why they didn't they just looks like they didn't finish but finish the bore so we need an inch and an eighth from it's on there I don't know if you can see it you can see where it's hitting now and you can see where it's supposed to hit where they had it in their machine when they were machining it so I'm going to have to go in there and uh, clear that out. Alright. Thought I'd bring you along and show you what I... Show you as I got, went. Uh, apparently I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, you can feel it 
rocking right up in there. It's just not getting far enough back there. Right up, right at the end. It's even leaving a little, a little more, um, a little smudge on there. All right, that's what we got to do. We'll bring you back. Hang on. All right, folks. Uh, we're back. Uh, normally, I'd say, you know, a boring bar that long is a bad idea. But I needed to reach into this spindle right here to uh, clear an inch and an eighth as you saw in the last video and that is only very 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 little short bit where they just didn't clean it up enough to where the MT5 would fit so I made a sleeve out of steel and just put a bunch of series I put uh, six uh, cap heads in there and they are uh, M5 and um, made another bar, an extension to go into the tool holder and it sticks out a long ways but it's rigid enough to where I was able to do it and I'll show you it worked we got her all cleaned out a little bit ago alright hang on one sec Alright folks, there it is, the big old MT5, and we're going to put it up, up in there, and give, I barely even bumped it in its, its height, okay, so we bumped her, and it ain't coming out, we done. Normally, I'd say that um, sticking something out that long is a bad idea, but that worked really good, and it is in there. Wait. So now we got our MP5 dead center for our headstock, for our spindle. So I was going to make a fixture plate to go on there, and I need that MP5 and a few other items that I was thinking about. Yeah. We'll move on a little. Alright, we got it done. Worked good. Alright, thanks for joining me on the venture, guys. Sorry you couldn't see more. I'm looking down in that little tube. I mean, it's a 38 millimeter bore, but getting the camera down there for you to see is probably quite impossible. All right, we got it done. Yeah, it was just an inch and an eighth, and um, it just where they just didn't finish it good enough for the dead center to go in there. So now we can use any MT5 in that spindle, and it'll work great. All right, take care, guys. Love y'all. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.